Welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how you can bypass Samsung A032F or A035F. First of all, you got to lose the phone and connect your test point. If you don't know how to do that, you watch all of my videos or check all that tutorials. I have uh, a software here which I think is a little bit old. And if you look at it under the Samsung tab, you won't find the uh, A series. There's A013. So what I'm going to do now, let me download another software or let me update this particular one so that I can get that uh, A013. So follow the instruction. So that way you learn how to lose this one. I'm going to lose this Samsung and then discover the test point. So it looks like I don't have uh, the latest uh, UMT unit, so, so let me download it here. You can search for the latest version or go to the dongle, the UMT Pro website and check for the latest version. It's downloading, it won't take time depending on the speed of your internet. So let me install the software. Let me close the old one. Then install the new one. Say yes. So you can replace the old one. It will take time to install depending on the speed of your system. I've done installation. So click on finish. So let's open the new software and this is it. So let's check whether the test point is on this software. I think it's here. Look at it here. So we'll check. Okay, this is a A103. To this A1035F. So, this is the test point as you saw in the picture there. So, you shot that place with ground. That is the test point of Samsung A1035F. It's trying to connect, so I'll try it again. Make sure you select uh, Samsung A1035F. In case the phone is not uh, formatted, you select that. If you don't know how to format phone, check a link on the description. So let's select the remove FRP because that's what we want to do. Then we'll click on execute. Then connect your phone. First of all, you 
tap on the test point before connecting the phone through USB. Good, the phone is connected. Good, and that is it. So the next thing now, let's boot the phone. Is done. So let's boot the phone. We'll tap on uh, start. Then make sure this connected. Sorry, just make sure you ticked on that. Then we'll tap on next. In case if this is turned on, please turn it off. Can see it's on now. So what I will do, I'll turn it off. It's off now. Then tap on skip. Good. Tap on don't copy. That is it. So that is Google service. Tap on accept. We skip here. Or if you like to add your own password, you add it. So tap on skip again. Go we'll tap on next. You can deselect that, but I don't want to deselect it. Just tap on next. Go we'll tap on skip again or you add your Samsung account. Whichever one. The choice is yours. Tap on skip. You say you almost set up, so tap on finish. Good. What done that is the phone. So the next thing we are going to do, let's check the version of this phone. Go to about. Good. Tap on uh, software information, and this is Android 11. So thank you for staying on. Please continue with other lectures, and uh, remember us.